So no matter what kind of message you're sending, whether it's a text message, a picture message, or an email, um, you, need to, you need to get your message onto the phone. So there are three different ways you can input, three different ways to create a, a message on Instinct. So we're going to go to the messaging menu, and I'm going to do a new message. I'll send it to myself, to my other phone. And so this is the messaging layout. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see. And uh, basically, you've got your choice between a horizontal QWERTY keyboard, or you can hit the button down here in the left corner. Now, when you're in this, before I get to that, when you're in this horizontal keyboard, um, you can type, you can switch to numbers, symbols, back and forth. You can also hide the keyboard to read your message and other uh, cursor keys you can use. So let's say I typed out, you know, uh, I personally don't like this layout very much, the alphabetical layout, just, you know, <laughs> I would have I would have preferred to see a regular dialing pad T9 kind of thing for this layout. But anyway, uh, so, you know, hey man. Um, so we'll hide that, and then you can use the keys to move around, whatever. You can also change the font size, make it easier to read. So now you go back, you can hit this button in the corner, and you can go to handwriting mode. So I will attempt to write what's up with my fingernail. The handwriting recognition, uh, I haven't played with it too much. It seems pretty good. I have lousy handwriting, and so I would never use the handwriting mode, but uh, that's not too bad. And it works with the fingernail. The sprint reps actually suggest using your fingernail in general. Um, you know, and I'll text correct there. That was the predictive text system. You'll see uh, a little bit later more on that. But anyway, the sprint people said, you know, using your fingernail is a good way to use the phone because it's a resistive touchscreen, not a capacitive one like iPhone. It reacts to pressure. And the smaller the, uh, the thing you're using to press on the phone, the more accurate it's going to be. So a fingernail works better than a fingertip, fingertip better than the whole pad of your finger, and so on. They do include a stylus also. Anyway, so there's handwriting mode, and then you can switch to the widescreen QWERTY mode, which I think is what most people will probably use. Um, and again, you can hide the keyboard to see more of your message. You can change the font size. You can go to uh, numbers and symbols. Caps works. It's not caps lock. It works more like shift. It'll do, you know, one letter uh, capital and then go back to lowercase. Um, if you want to delete the whole thing, I believe... Yep. Click and hold on the uh, back button there, and that'll delete everything. And then you can rotate back to the other modes. So there you go. Three methods of input. Uh, would have been nice if they had, you know, a dialing layout for people used to dialing, you know, or, or texting using a dialing layout. But otherwise, um, works pretty well. There you go. There's my two messages. So I will reply, and I will say... You're the worst texter ever. Because that's what everybody tells me on YouTube, that I'm just terrible at text messaging. So, now the underlined, uh, the red underlined words are words that the dictionary doesn't recognize. So texter, I'm going to leave, but your is missing an apostrophe, so I click it. Gives me suggestions. You can also turn autocorrect on, or you can learn the word. So I'm going to hit yours. So this is kind of an alternative... Uh, you know, different interface for a uh, predictive text system. It works well. You know, it's no, uh, not necessarily better or worse than other ones. It's, a, you know, an extra screen, but not necessarily an extra click as opposed to systems from, like Sony Ericsson's kind of my favorite because you get a little pop-up menu that shows you uh, the alternatives, but you still have to click through to pick one. So this isn't any different. So I'll hit done, and I go back to the horizontal, I mean the uh, vertical Look, and I'll hit send, and it goes through. Okay, and now I've got a threaded message going where um, the ones that came into the phone are in blue. Mine is in black. So I'll send one more from the other phone 
just so you can see. All right, so there's a new message. So a little bit different uh, notifier because I was still actively using the phone. So I'll view it and, oh, sad face. All right, so um, now that mine's the newest mess, that I have a newer message, it's showing them in kind of alternating white for Krabby Krab messages and, and gray for ones from this phone. But you can see it, it's threaded, you know, you can tell from the color coding uh, who's who, and then you can go to that person's contact, you can reply, or you can just trash the whole message. You can only trash some of them if you want to, so I could pick uh, sad face, I don't want to see sad face, and now that one's gone. So, you know, kind of nice. Uh, it works, threaded messaging, it's nice you can delete individual messages or individual threads. You can go back to your messaging home and it keeps track of all your messages you got from different people. So I had an earlier message um, that I had sent to the M520 taunting it because, you know, Instinct's the cool new phone. And so there you go. There's threaded text messaging. Works pretty well. Um, one other thing is that the picture messaging is separate. So I've got a separate icon down here to look at all my picture messages. So here's one from earlier today. Um... And there's the one that I received earlier from Mags' phone. And so then from here, I can save it. I can also um, make it a picture ID or a background, which is pretty cool. So works pretty well. Uh, I'm going to save this one into my photo album on the Instinct. Now I have one saved picture. <laughs> it's tiny. Oh, there you go. Cool. All right, that was the uh, that was just the album view. That's why it was so small. There you go. So, text messaging, picture messaging. One more thing, which is pretty cool, is on your favorite screen, you can assign a shortcut to send a message to a particular contact. So I made one here to send a message directly to Krabby Krav, and so I click that and I go straight into sending the message. That's pretty cool. I think that's a nice handy little thing. Um, and basically all you do is you hit plus to add a favorite and select category and you can also do this with an email um, so I'm gonna add a, favor a uh, favorite shortcut to send a message to fake number and there it is. Now if I had email addresses assigned to my contacts I could do that also. That's pretty handy. It's kinda nice you know if you do a lot of text messaging it's like speed dial for text message. Hey there's lots lots more to cover on Instinct so stick around. Till next time, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching.